Good afternoon and salam ibu pertiwiku. A strong earthquake has shaken the Greek capital of Athens, knocking out phone networks and power in parts of the city. The 5.1 magnitude earthquake had an epicenter about 22 kilometers northwest of Athens. Athenians ran out into the streets as the city shook for 15 seconds. There were no reports of serious injuries, but several aftershocks have been felt, and two buildings have collapsed. The strongest aftershock had a magnitude of 4.3, almost an hour after the initial quake hit at 2.13 p.m. local time. Seismologists warned there could be more. The earthquake was felt particularly strongly in the center of Athens, where people stood in the streets after evacuating from tall buildings. Large areas of central and southern Russia have seen a major decline in their bee populations in recent months. The head of the Russian Beekeepers Union, Arnold Butov, said 20 regions had reported mass bee deaths. Mr. Butov, quoted by Russian media, said the crisis might mean 20% less honey being harvested. Some officials blame, blame of poorly regulated pesticide use. There are fears that the bee deaths will push up not only honey prices, but also those of other popular foods. Declining bee populations have caused widespread alarm in Europe, with experts blaming the crisis on a combination of factors, climate change, pesticides, notably neonicotinoids, and burrow mites spreading in beehives. Ice covering the Arctic Ocean reached the second lowest level recorded for this time of year after July temperatures spiked in areas around the North Pole. The rate of ice loss in the region is so crucial in the pace and extent of Arctic ice melt have been seen around the world underlining the harsh reality of global warming and the struggle governments face in trying to slow it down. Well, that's all the news updates for now. I am Radzi Ahmad. Thank you for watching.